Joining us from Franklin, Tennessee, please welcome the Franklin High School Marching Band. Franklin's musical selections include the following, titled An American Life, The Legacy of Jimmy Gentry. The Bands of America is proud to present, in preliminary performance, drum majors Aaron Hussey and Alyssa Paulus and the Franklin High School Marching Band. Everybody has a story to tell. Yeah, your story doesn't cover as many years, perhaps, as some others, but you, you have a story to tell. Back when uh, everywhere you go now, you see a subdivision that was a farm. We knew everybody in town. We didn't have television. We didn't have computers. We didn't have little things. We didn't have a phone for a long, long time. Figure out how did my mother raise seven children and have no money? It was an adventure. Every day was an adventure. I'm Jimmy Gentry. Go back with me to Franklin, Tennessee. It was a simple life that we were living back then, and it was a wonderful time to live. Three, four, five, I still know as for no seven, you get a cold yard. And then one Sunday morning, I go to church, have Sunday school, go around the corner to the white drug store, all of a sudden the man behind the counter starts saying, sweep the clock. And he turned the radio up so we could hear. And we heard for the first time the Japanese jet bomb for a bomb. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. My world and your world changed that day. You can hear the blown off in the distance. And the rumble is not thunder. You can hear noises. It's not firecrackers. We're getting close. and they're waving white flags and coming in by the thousand. It's almost like, you know, celebrating time, but not yet. The worst is yet to come. April 29, 1945. 
and what I'm about to smell, see, and touch is what I wanted to forget for 40 years. We see a wall that covers acres and acres and acres. Don't know what it is. And there's cattle cars, box cars on the railroad track going into the wall of the gate for the train to enter and leave. And we go down, and for the first time in those box cars with dead bodies, not soldiers, had on like pajamas, striped. They were all dead. I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of them. And you, you think, well, that is horrible. But the worst part yet to come. And then there's another wall with inside the big wall. The barbed wire, double wall. And there's somebody in there they don't want out. We've got to that barbed wire gate on the opposite side from us with just a sea of faces. And they all appear to be dead. And I looked at those people's eyes, they were skin and bone. For the first time I saw what has haunted me now all my life. And I didn't understand what I was seeing. So, not knowing what we would really do, we let them out. just liberated Dachau concentration camp. We go to the end of the war, boy, and then we go out in the big field, we drop down on our knees and thank God. Now I come home, I married my high school sweetheart, and then uh, I started teaching and coaching at Franklin High School. Across, you tell it in the form of a story, a parable, or something like that. Everybody has a story to tell. I've made a complete circle, and uh, that sort of tells you what the story is about. The Franklin High School Marching Band. The Franklin High School Marching Band is under the direction of David Adelot. The two-time Tennessee Marching Band champion, the Franklin Band, has marched in the Tournament of Roses Parade and twice in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. 
In the 2008-2009 school year, the Franklin Band was again named a finalist at the Middle Tennessee State University's Contest of Champions and received all superior ratings at the MTS BOA Concert and Sight Reading Festival. The band received the Tennessee Bandmasters Sweepstakes Award and the Wind Ensemble's been invited to perform in the Belmont University Wind Ensemble Festival next March. Ladies and gentlemen, the Franklin High School Marching Band. 